There's no doubt that the way in which academics are evaluated is changing. Um, we not only are required as part of grant applications to plan for impact, uh, but we're also as part of the REF cycle now being evaluated in a very different way. And part of that evaluation is what impact have we achieved? The University of Bath has always been committed to high quality and excellence in, in research, but we've also always been committed to using that research to make a difference. So it's actually written into the mission statement of the university that we will benefit the wider population through our research. I think it's fair to say most academics would first of all think about academic impact of their work. So they're thinking about publications in top journals, they're thinking about citations, they're thinking about influencing other academics to use their research. And that's all important, of course, but also important for us to think about the non-academic impact of research. So the impact outside of the academic realm, the impact in the wider context. Non-academic impact can be defined in various ways, but I think the crucial thing is um, it's an identifiable or demonstrable difference um, that has been made. It could be economic, social, cultural, or in other ways. My research is uh, uh, looking into uh, reducing the uh, incidence and severity of musculoskeletal injuries and illnesses, uh, predominantly among military personnel. The main achievements in terms of social and economic impact uh, have been in uh, uh, making a difference to the lives of young individuals get entering into military training, where we've increased their chances of getting through training injury-free. We've also increased the number of individuals who are completing training successfully and not suffering career-ending uh, musculoskeletal injuries. We're talking about having an impact on 15 to 20,000 recruits per year uh, in, in the UK military. Um, as well as the, these findings possibly being taken up by international organisations to, to influence military training overseas. On the back of that, of course, by reducing the incidence of musculoskeletal injuries by 50% uh, in, in, in a lot of cases, we have an enormous impact on the cost of uh, military training and the medical care associated with that training, which sometimes runs into savings of millions of pounds each year. I think there are two main ways to think about impact. The first is thinking about the past and the impact of past research. So sometimes research can take a very long time before that impact comes through into the wider world. So research that was carried out 10, 15 years ago, or maybe even longer, and trying to understand, trace, and get evidence of the impact that that research has had is also is very important. But it's also very important to think about future research, and, and in particular to think right at the beginning of research projects, what's the likely impact? going to be and how do we need to work to achieve that so so what sort of change might we be wanting to achieve in the future who do we need to work with outside of academia to make that happen um, and what do we need to do to make it happen so it's thinking ahead to the future we've been working with Ford for over 20 years and the last 10 years have all been about fuel consumption and co2 reduction and that's really satisfying for me because I was trained as an engineer first and foremost before I became an academic and therefore I want to get the results of my work into real products delivering benefits for the owners and also for the businesses that are selling those vehicles. The outcome from our research will be improved engine designs which can deliver the power of a large engine but the fuel consumption of a small engine from the same package and the impact of that will be significant in terms of CO2 and fuel consumption. That will benefit the manufacturers and the consumers who buy the vehicles and the environment in the wider sense. Our pathway to impact is very clear and that is by working in collaboration with vehicle manufacturers. These are the people that are building the vehicles. That gives us the greatest opportunity to get the results from our research into product and delivering real benefits. I really enjoy working with manufacturers because you get exposed to real problems, a real need to improve product and that sparks off new research ideas and if you can do both of those at the same time you can generate academic outputs which are of very high quality. I think the important message for early career researchers is to plan for impact from the beginning, build it in where you can to your research proposals uh, from the outset and work closely with organisations to establish key partnerships so that you can really achieve impact on the back of the work that you do.